begin with today's launch of the training of 90,000 teachers in a new curriculum across the country. The Kenya National Union of Teachers has opposed the exercise asking teachers to boycott the, uh, on the grounds that it is a violation of the law. Uh, the Education Cabinet Secretary Professor George Magoha is launching the training at Uhuru Gardens Primary School here in Nairobi. We can cross over there to look at uh, the live pictures uh, coming from that uh, particular school. You can see the CS there, Professor George Magoha already there. Uh, sitting next to him is the Chief Executive Officer of the Teacher Service Commission, Nancy Masharia. Uh, just an indication that uh, this process of training the teachers on the uh, competency-based curriculum will go on as planned despite the opposition from the Kenya National Union of Teachers. Exactly. They have of course come out saying that um, if this will continue, there could be a strike coming from the Kenya National Union of Teachers. Again, one of the stories that we'll continue to keep our eye on in the course of the day. All right. Another story now that is uh, in Nakuru. We're expecting uh, to link with um, Miriam Nyambura on the training of teachers. Miriam, good morning. Uh, what's the situation like, even as we wait for the national rollout uh, or, or officiating by the Cabinet Secretary, Professor George Magohai Nairobi? A very good morning to you, Sam and Zinzi, and uh, the situation here at uh, St. Joseph's Primary School in Nakuru Town East, one of the uh, training stations here in Nakuru County, as you can see, is that uh, the training is ongoing, and uh, we understand that a section of uh, the teachers are already here. Some of them are already uh, registering, uh, waiting to uh, walk into the training room. But uh, what we know is that uh, the training is be has begun, rather, uh, now this amid our concerns after the Kenyan National Union of Teachers uh, requested or rather asked uh, the teachers to boycott uh, this uh, training on grounds that, as you mentioned earlier, is that uh, it's a violation of the law. So joining me here is uh, Asumta Wangoi, who, who is the head teacher at Joseph's Primary School, just to shed more light about this. And uh, kindly join us here and uh, tell us uh, we are seeing that the training is ongoing. Uh, kindly take us through uh, the process. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Asumta, I'm Asumta Wangoi, head teacher. St. Joseph's Primary School. Yeah, and it's a training in Central Zone. In Central Zone, we have 11 public schools, and they are all represented here. Each school is producing three teachers, one from lower primary to from upper primary grade four. And we have 15 schools private schools and you can see you can see they've all come and they registered we have started the, the training already okay. yeah okay and uh, what do you think was missing uh, what informed uh, the decision uh, for of course uh, we understand that uh, uh, the competency based uh, curriculum was rolled out in january mm -hmm. and uh, what what exactly was missing as a, as a head teacher no uh, okay now compared to the <laughs> other curriculum uh, there is uh, what do i say the, it's now holistically it's involving the parent the child and the teacher because if you go through the training manual and even when you, the, the work the children are doing in class, there is work, there's a place where the parent is fully involved. And because they're supposed to do their assessment, there is where the parent is supposed to come in and they feel that Marimu checks on it, the child checks on it, and everybody is involved actually. And we are finished, we are actually, like, personally, I'm happy now that we are bringing the upper primary, the grade four, because next year we shall have grade four. And we were, it was our concern. Now we, we, we go to grade four, and we have not been trained in upper primary because since we've been training the lower primary, so we feel actually it's a good gesture for us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And even as uh, that is going on, uh, the process is expected to go on for the next uh, three to four days between 23rd uh, to 27th. Uh, what are some of the uh, trainings that are expected to uh, to be taken? As right now we can see that uh, some are seated, are going through the training. What are some of the other activities that are expected? Uh, apart from going through the manual, they also do the ICT part of it. Like tomorrow it will be an ICT day. Everybody is expected to come with their, digit, with their laptop. We are taking the materials. Some of the materials in there in, is is uh, digital and actually you do also it was rolled out by the government because even class one two three uh, grade one two three up to now they have that do those digital classes so the teachers they expect also to be di literate, uh, digital literate and they'll be taken through tomorrow and the beauty of it all now the teachers are not paying the government is Fading. It's, it's a being funded, yeah so we don't say that there's train nobody will come because of the, 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 it's being funded so I think it's going, there are so many other things that will come in apart from manual, just sitting manually. You'll be doing some practical activities, yeah, starting with tomorrow with their digital learning. Yeah. 
Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Well, uh, Sam and Zinzi, that is the situation. Uh, uh, that is the head teacher, Asum Tangoi, uh, shedding more light about uh, the activities that are expected to take place. As she mentioned earlier, that uh, over 15 schools are already, uh, representatives from over 15 schools are already here. But uh, the situation right now in uh, this uh, training station at uh, St. Joseph's Primary School is that uh, the training has already begun even as we wait for uh, the education CS, George, uh, Professor Magoha, to uh, to launch officially launch the training exercise in Nairobi. But as I mentioned earlier, is that uh, each sub county uh, in Nakuru County there are over 11 uh, sub counties. So each sub county has different uh, training stations. Uh, in Nakuru Town West, we understand that there are over four training uh, stations. But uh, we will continue to keep an eye uh, across uh, the different uh, training stations and uh, keep our viewers up to date in our subsequent bulletins. Back to you, Sam and Zinzi. All right, thank you so much, Zin. Uh, um, Marianne, Nyamura. Marianne. There's someone else who's doing some funny things here. <laughs> Got me off guard. So we cross over to Nyeri County, where Martin Munane is fo uh, following up on a similar exercise where teachers in that area are also being trained for the competency-based curriculum. Good morning, Munane. What can you tell us from there? Uh, all right, uh, very good morning uh, to you from Nyeri County, and uh, we are coming to you from Nyeri Primary, or commonly known as, as the Moy Complex, uh, in this part of the, of, of, the, of the country. And what I can say is that the training has actually uh, started in this particular uh, region, and I can say that earlier we had spoken uh, to some people from NAT, and they were saying that they have not issued any directive themselves uh, stopping the teachers. And uh, what I can say from Nyeri County is that this exercise has actually already begun. Uh, we are seeing hundreds of teachers here and I'm going to be speaking uh, to some officials here to just help us understand what they hope to achieve uh, with this exercise. What is the observation uh, from this particular uh, region? And uh, we'll just jump right in. Uh, Karibu Sana, kindly introduce yourself and tell us, uh, uh, you know, I've seen you talking to the teachers. What has the situation been like uh, this morning? Uh, my name is Dr. Beri Gaturu, the, count, the um, Director of Quality Assurance, Minister of Education. Today, as you have said, we are launching the training of competence-based curriculum for this particular zone. In Nyeri County, we have 22 centers where this kind of training is taking place. Uh, we were expecting 80 in this center. As, as you have seen, we are 100%. And we have thanked the teachers for coming. We have told them that we have a duty to our children. We have a duty to serve our country, and that's why we are here. We shall be here for four days. We have a very tight program so that we prepare teachers as they open schools next week. They are well prepared to roll out the curriculum, the computer-based curriculum. As you know, in this curriculum, we have no failure. We have children that we won't tap their talents. We believe that every child has a potential and the teachers are the key in rolling out this program. So as you have seen, we are ready, our teachers are ready for the training and we shall run through up to the end of the week. All right. And Dr. Terry, there has, uh, there has been some issues being raised about, uh, uh, you know, facilities, for example, uh, learning materials in schools. So maybe even as you train the teachers, uh, there are plans to ensure that as we have trained teachers, we have what it takes, uh, or the schools have the equipments or the materials they need to ensure that the learning is smooth. I can tell you that in our schools, the books are even in excess. Since the government started started distributing books to schools we have already achieved one to one every child in our school in the rural grades have a book so we have no issues of facilities our teachers are prepared and our teachers actually they have been trained before we are only refreshing them because every time there is new knowledge we are only refreshing them so they already have this information and they have been using it in their teaching so we have no problems of uh, in, uh, of uh, in, uh, materials we are ready as a government we are ready as a ministry 
for this for this program. All right, thank you very much. Okay. Uh, all right, uh, like you've had some uh, from the dire director, uh, is that Nyeri County, the exercise has begun in this particular center. A hundred percent of the teachers who are expected are actually here. And like she said, uh, uh, apart from the training that is ongoing, they're working to ensure that the facilities that the schools need for them to be able to carry out this particular uh, implementation of the new curriculum actually goes on smoothly. And from Nyeri County, I bring it back to you in studio. I'm Martin Munene.